Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. We love that you've included us at Explore Tulsa in your day. Plus, it's important to follow the Lighted Brick Road. Follow the Lighted Brick Road? Because, 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 because the lights turn blue when you step on them. You're loosely trying to sing about Jeffrey and Grace's new art project at the center of the universe. The center of the universe inspired us to do a project because it's this um, sort of unsanctioned focus point for the public. It's become this colloquially a termed center of the universe where people love to come and there's an echo that you can hear at the center of this brick circle here on the bridge. This is an important corridor the city has put in place to pr prevent this uh, railway from blocking the downtown financial district from this burgeoning Brady Arts District and it's making the city very walkable and we want downtown to become more and more walkable. It's just a short jaunt up here and you can go from all the restaurants and businesses there to all the galleries and restaurants and businesses here. But over the years, the bridge has become a little bit neglected. So you can see the concrete starting to chip up a little bit. And at the time of the inception of the idea, there were a whole bunch of pavers that had just chipped out from weathering and possibly even uh, public removal and had just sat there unnoticed and not repaired. Um, and for a site that has so much love in the public eye, we thought it would be great to do something that honored that and hopefully enhance that experience a little bit more. Grace and I have been working on this project uh, since about August or so. Um, so it's taken us the better part of a year to um, design the circuitry and the software and the uh, cast resin housing that these go in. So it's been kind of a long process. I'm a new media artist. I'm interested in taking the tradition of drawing and painting and blending that with the newest technology that's available now in a harmonious, beautiful encounter for the public. I initially went from traditional painting to new media painting by exploring the use of LED technology. Um, so I started putting LEDs in these translucent paintings. So I went from painting on canvas to translucent acrylic plastic sheet put LEDs behind that in these custom wooden frames and then you had this beautiful layered lit experience a little bit like a backlit TV or a piece of stained glass on your wall. Um, the first project that I did that for was Art 365. It's a project here in Oklahoma that debuted in Oklahoma City and I had the great opportunity to exhibit with Jeffrey Hicks at that time. I've had uh, other art projects um, that range from um, giant industrial robotic arms that were reprogrammed um, with a camera on them to take people's photos to other types of light installations that um, used uh, hundreds of light bulbs and heartbeat sensors to react to people's um, heart rates. Grace and I have been working on this project uh, since about August or so. Um, so it's taken us the better part of a year to um, design the circuitry and the software and the uh, cast resin housing that these go in. So it's been kind of a long process. And the project's called Trace. And what we're gonna do is trace for you the pedestrian paths along this bridge. So we've interspersed with these traditional bricks, LED pavers that are solar powered all day. And then at dusk, when they read that the light level is becoming less, they start flashing on and off in an organic white pattern. And then when you step on them, they flash blue. And if you walk across a bunch, um, and then you look back, you'll see your path retraced in blue. Well, I love young people thinking outside the box, because I would have never come up with this. I mean, I think it's fascinating to have them recharge solar and then light up at night uh, when people walk on them. I mean, I think that's just very cool. There are getting to be a lot of LED projects all around the world. We, by no measure, hold the uh, title for the only LED artist out there. Um, but as far as we know, there's no one doing an LED brick project quite like ours with sensor activation. This is definitely the largest project that Grace and I have ever worked on, uh, independently or together. Um, and we do hope it gets quite a bit of exposure being in such a prominent place in the city. My initial and top priority is that people will come out here and have a sense of joy and a sense of wonder and really enjoy being out here and stumble upon it and have an even better time than they would have 
just experiencing the echo and doing what they always do here, taking photos and experiencing being outdoors. We're just looking forward to uh, seeing everybody enjoy the project um, and having them come out here and have fun and enjoy the space and enjoy our little addition to it.